In the race for the White House, President Biden has the campaign trail to himself for a while. He says that he doesn't need the abortion issue to win this year's election, but that was his main topic yesterday. Biden hoping that Florida's new six-week abortion ban puts the state in play for Democrats. The new law takes effect next week. Recent Fox News polling shows voters ranked the economy, election integrity, and immigration over abortion this election cycle. Yet Democrats are still working to keep the issue in the spotlight. It's criminalizing reproductive health care for before women even know whether they're pregnant. There's one person responsible for this nightmare, and he's acknowledged and he brags about it, Donald Trump. Earlier this month, Trump said that abortion limits should be left up to the states, and he did not endorse a national ban. Trump is using his limited time outside of the courtroom to attack his opponent. Court adjourned for today, but will resume tomorrow. Yesterday, prosecutors continued questioning David Pecker, the ex-publisher of the National Enquirer. Pecker detailed a catch-and-kill plan in which he and Trump's campaign would buy and bury negative stories. In one instance, Pecker said that his magazine paid a former Trump Tower doorman $30,000 for a story claiming that Trump fathered a child outside of his marriage, which they found out wasn't true. The former publisher confirmed that the tabloid also ran negative stories about Trump's primary opponents during the 2016 election saying that Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, was often his contact. Entering into a non-disclosure agreement is not illegal. Secondly, catch and kill schemes, which people in the media do, which is to buy the rights to a story and then choose not to publish it, they're also not illegal. We can expect to hear more from David Pecker and other key witnesses tomorrow. Still unclear if Trump will take the stand himself.